<laughs> Welcome to this space. So, I came across Reno on Mercury's um, response as well as um, um, the masses' response to the ongoing Mohaha um, between Nigeria and Niger. Nigeria versus Niger. Um, Russia versus um, France versus America versus UK, and um, it raised some solid points. And um, there is some solid points as to regards to what really is democracy. What really is a coup? Coup d'état. Because we have coup d'état, that is the the military taking over government, government taking over um, government, government, and then we have institutional coup. When the so-called crazy demonstration democracy is is run aground with rigged elections forged um, judicial announcements and a whole what's not so hmm, this is going to be quite interesting so hmm, come along with me cool versus democracy russian president putin himself does not want to be overthrown by wagner yet he is supporting the Nigerian military junta to overthrow President Mohammed Bazoum and some Africans are hailing it as an anti-imperialist victory. Why was Wagner's attempt to overthrow Putin bad? While the Niji junta's action is good? Same scenario with different reactions because our people don't think. Do you not see how Putin and Russia panicked when Wagner's forces were just 200 miles from Moscow? As a, if a coup is so good, why did they not permit it in Russia? Is the president of Nigeria more corrupt than Putin? Has he made his political opponents disappear like Putin? Is Russia's economy thriving and growing at a faster pace than Niger's? If there is an argument to support a coup in the Niger Republic, the argument is stronger and more robust for supporting a coup in Russia. The, and the news is trickling, is trickling in, in that Niger Republic has invited Russia Mercenary Wagner forces into their country shows that the junta who says the power there lacks the executive capacity, mental ability, and strategic long term vision to lead their country. Absolutely, I agree with that because there's, I mean, if you have, if this has been taught off well planned and paying attention to details and they're really really ready mentally strategically and with all the executive um, competence i don't think they need one they are just reacting they do not seem to have any proactive cogent plans beyond seizing power that is the problem that is a problem. I think, I think, all the so-called leaders, whether political, whether be the military, whether by coup, coup data, whether by institutional coup, they don't. All they want is just the power. They lack the the mental mental competence. They lack the 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 strategic competence as well. They lack the the they lack I don't know they don't all they it's like all they want is just power 
That is what that matters to them. How they're going to use it, what it's meant for, they don't know and they don't care. As exemplified by Buari and on the Pro Max, on the Pro Max revised version of um, Tinobo, they don't have anything. They have no plans, nothing. Or they just want to start power. Power for what? Hmm? It's you, 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 it, it, it entails a lot. We are talking about the governance, not just to satisfy your egocentric need for something. Hmm? Man, it's, it's just ridiculous. Hmm? They don't have any strategic long term vision to lead their country. I don't think so. I don't think so. They do not seem to have any proactive cogent plans beyond sales and power. How can you invite a group that even their own home country, Russia, expelled because of their capacity to destabilize Russia, which almost led to the military overthrow of Putin? If they can destabilize Russia, what about Neji? That is it. This, I hope this is not going to be like um, from uh, from fire pan to fire. Uh, fire pan to fire. Why can't they just do this on their own? Not, I'm not, I'm not like they shouldn't get help or something. But at least, you know, you want to fish in and come What a plan. What you saw that he help Obawa. Wali so uh, we be buying new um cobai la fashion cobai la fashion kishi you just leave it and they will not be telling you okay do it this way do it that way because it's it's still gonna be the same thing. It will still be the same thing. These guys should think long, deep and hard about what they are doing. Go to the Central African Republic and see the damage Wagner has done there. Wagner has Wagner forces have no respect for neither the government or the people of the C A R. Yeah, I'm so glad. Tandi la ni o mojo, kuma waloje tandi tandi, eh? Kuma waloje tandi tandi. Hmm. Well, so people are people are also. Expressing their opinions as well. Somebody said, whatever the people approve is democracy. Yes, because by the definition of democracy is government of the people, for the people, and by the people. And so far, the people in the J, they've demonstrated that this coup d'etat, that they are seen as coup d'etat, is their own democracy because they are happy. They want it. Except otherwise, I don't know. And what they do not approve is not democracy. If Echoers are fighting the choice of the people of Nigeria, which is military leadership at this time, then they are fighting against democracy. You see? You see now? But... All the echo are skinny, they are all oh, those people, they are old. Mentally, they are drained. Physically, they are exhausted. Spiritually, they are nowhere. I mean, in uh, all, you know, all, the, all their five senses. Oh, to retire. So, how to retire so they can't really reason. Most of them, eh? They are just looking for the last day. They are waiting for the the clarion call. So they can't be bothered about uh, anything that is going on. That is why we need young blood. We need the youth in there. Not even their so-called echoes. Because echoes is, is by the puppet masses. So something different. That youths will sit down and know what they need. And discuss, you know. Engage, interact, work minds. And figure out way forward that okay, this is what we need. This, 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 and go for it. We need go get us. Yeah. Not all this uh, worn out, cut to a grave, 
people that are sitting on the on the echoes uh, chair half of them they do they are asleep half of the half of the whatever meeting they are holding so how would they know how would they know what decisions to to make or take and they are never present they are never present they only come when it's going to affect their pocket when it's going to affect their feeding bottle that is when they will come i mean nonsense mm. the coup in niger is more democratic if you ask me it is indeed the people's choice as you can clearly see the people support it they are happy they prefer it to the default damage democracy africans unity isn't in the best interest of the greed of the west the situation in the nigeria republic is purely internal absolutely they're on their land. Whatever it is they are doing, they are doing it. They are making the best decisions for themselves. I don't see why we, us, or Equus have to go and poke nose. If not that, they are fronting for the West. Mm. The chapter of the UN, AU, and ECOWAS forbids intervention in the international in the internal affairs of sovereign states. Beside the coup is popular following the approval approval of Niger's citizens. What is the problem with ECOWAS? So you see now, ECOWAS has even broken their 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 law because it forbids intervention. In the internal harvest of a sovereign state. Nigeria is a sovereign state. It's like telling a matured married man how to run his house. Is they are on their land, the ancestral land, that geographical land. It's it's that land is the ancestral land Geogra geographically allocated to them by God. Hmm? It's not that they are trespassing. You. Or anything, you know. it's France that left his own land, his own continent to come over to Africa and come and be loading it over. That is that is trespassing. Eh? Nigeria knows the neighbor wants to go and put a deeper nose in a hot frying oil. Eh? Mm. Somebody said in Russia, people want Putin. Besides, Beside me, if any African country is as good as Russia, there will be no coup. Coup just doesn't happen without people's support. Because Russians want Putin, but Nigerians don't want Nigerians don't want Basim. Political class people will want to make you believe what we have in Africa is democracy. Is democracy not meant to be the government of the people, by the people, and for the people? There was a coup, and the people, the masses, are rejoicing. Says a lot about your so-called democracy. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, they are doing their own in Russia. I didn't see you saying crisscrossing, carpet crossing, all the way, and be saying in Russia, this is how you... Eh, eh, tobe. So, kiwani. Alara la ro ro. E lo kwa e so kwa e wo. Eh? I mean, this uh, Africa's definition of democracy, it's 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 an adulterated definition. It's It needs to be straightened out. Oh, no. Because this so-called Africa democracy, that is not the way they... They, the originator of this word democracy and this um, type of governance, that's not the way they are doing it. It has been adulterated. They view what is the Lurupa Moshapa. Another person said, Same thing I have been telling myself here. Putin is even more corrupt than Bazoom. He is the richest man in the world, in a country far more resourceful. Than any Western nation, but Russia is lacking behind. 
the military can't even fight by themselves. Nothing is empty. You see now, eh? They are corrupt as well. Eh? Then you get it they are corrupt. I'm not siding our leaders because I know those ones. They are corruption personified. But at least, eh? If you can't help somebody, leave them. Don't go hard mode with their problem. Mm -hmm. So, Babanki don't you now join the conversation. No? He has something to say. Mm. He said to stay the cool, there has to be a frustration into society. In the military, we find cool easier when there is a frustration in the society, most especially when elections are rigged and the government lacks legitimacy. Our judiciary does not endorse illegitimacy. Ha ha. but you know, boo. What he chose, he left one. This is Babangidao. Babangidao joined the conversation, said, to stage a coup, there has to be a frustration in the society. In the military, we find cool easier when there is frustration in the society, most especially when elections are rigged. <laughs> ah, well, do you know has proved uh -uh. all the conditions are, are very, very well. Uh -uh. They are surplus, courtesy of Tinobu, as facilitated by the Northern, uh, Northern Leaders Forum. I want them, them. I want so called not that can you call them them? Well, it's interesting to see the double standard. I thought they said what is good for the girls is good for the gender. Why is it that it is okay for every other continent like America, like uh, the, the EU, to do to take their own decisions without any external interference, to do their gov to run their government whichever way they can. But when it comes to to Africa, they have to do mother goose. Africa has to be monitored. And not for anything but for the natural resources they are getting from it. Oh the, can you imagine France saying it's not gonna leave? When France saying that and if they go against uh, if anything should happen to his interest, what interest? What is 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 Nigeria France ancestral land? Can Nigeria go to 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 France and go be saying they are not gonna leave France so uh, they are gonna do their interests so who does that? Eh what you cannot eat, don't dish it out to other people. That is why Africa is saying enough is enough and about time to kick out all these people, the disrespect, the disinhuman treatment. Ah, is is out of this or that, even in this twenty first century that we are. Africans are still enslaved financially, economically. I mean, in every kind of a way, it is not enough for them. We have brain drain. All the best brains are over here. They've left the continent. And what they are looking for is back home. And these people are the same ones that have the infantry, the nerve to say that um, that uh, Africa is poor, that they are beggars, giving Africa AIDS, 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 AIDS all the time. And now they said they don't want the AIDS no more. They want to be treated equal. Without us, Africa, there is no them. Why are they doing it the other way around? They need us. We we can survive without them. We can survive without them. They need us. They have not turned the continent into their raw material, whatever. And they are ready to even kill us for it. Why? Why? We we never cross the cross the line to go to their own continent and be uh, and be and be kind of like them. Um, 
come up and with just resources so no. Loading it over them on their resources and saying it no. No, it has never happened. Forget the fact that there may be Africans there. No, no, we don't do that because we respect ourselves. But respect is reciprocal. They need to respect us. Not just respect us. Leave us the hell alone. Leave us alone. Because let me tell you something. Nobody can, no, nobody can conquer nobody. Except that person allowed it. And the generations of our fathers, of our forefathers, that have allowed it, they are long gone. So it is the children versus the children. So don't because... Your grand, your 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 forefathers lord it over our forefathers. You're gonna lord, lord it over us. You are messing with the wrong generation. They are messing with the wrong generation. Honestly speaking, you don't want us. Yet you want our resources. Who does that? Who does that? It's about time. Enough is enough. Africa should wake up. Nigeria should wake up. Can you imagine? They want to pass pipe from Nigeria to Niger, from Niger to Morocco, from Morocco to Tosin. Come here. Who does that? All they care about is themselves. They don't care if other races, if they perish or anything. All they care about is themselves. Because they want to leave at our own expense. We have to pay the price for them to leave, to be alive. Who does that? It's never done. It's never done. Even You don't even treat animals like that. The way Africa is being treated, the way Africans are being treated, you don't even treat animals like that. Okay, if they are saying that uh, this time of slavery is skinny cooking, what of the ones that they are doing now? This one is even worse. This is worse. And in the fluid glare of all, and they are siding each other. They are siding. If God had wanted you to have these resources, He would have given you. He would have put it in your own land. He would have put it in your own land. You are sitting down in your own house. You're, you're busy dividing other people's land amongst yourselves. You took um, Africans um, um, welcoming and Kini. You took it for granted. At times it's not going to be too liberal. They welcomed you into their midst. They gave you the land. You brought your religion. They didn't say, no, 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 we don't want your religion. They were like, mm, do, do your own. Do call your God. We will call our God too. But you know, that is something. You have to come and tell them that their Lord, the, the God they are serving is so good, that they have to serve your own God. And all now are you. All for you to, to carry all our so-called gods. Eh? So-called demonic gods. You go put them in your, in your, in your museum. Taking care of them as a as a spoil of war. Why? It's about time. Africa needs to wake up. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You are you. This set of people are the ones destabilizing that continent. So that they can have easy access to resources. Go and be stealing, be stealing. They will say they are going there, giving human heads, doing clinical cooking. Under the guise of that, they are committing all kinds of atrocities. And nobody did. Nothing is being done. It is sad. It is sad. It is sad. We deserve more. But uh, mm, freedom comes by struggle. Freedom comes with a price. Africa is not yet free. Africa is still in shackles of this so-called slave master. Why? Why would you enslave somebody else? Why? 
man in human, being in a human to fellow human being. Why? When you come to our continent, we'll welcome you. We'll make you feel at home. But in your in your part, there's discrimination, there's racism, there's all kinds of can you imagine how they all of them going to Africa wanting to shovel down LGBT. They didn't even have respect for the for the people's cultural differences. If because it is your culture doesn't mean it is our own culture. You need to respect that. And you're saying if they don't accept the LGBT, you're going to sanction them. You're going to take money away from them. You're going to do this. You're going to do this. When the money you're using to blackmail them is from their continent. Without us, there's no you. And don't forget the intervention. Leave Africans alone. Let them sort out their problems. If you people stop interfering and you leave them alone, they will figure it out because before you came, they have it figured out. They have it figured out. They've been living. They've been surviving. They've been existing in a civilized, well-organized, well-needed out society. Before you came. Before you came. So. Africa needs to rise up. The youth needs to rise up. Because they know that they are deliberately putting the old, tired, worn out, greedy souls there. They are doing it deliberately. The population has more, more young people. So why are old men quarter to grave, grandfathers ruling, when we have capable, educated, energetic, mentally fit, physically fit, psychologically sound youths that can get the job done? But you know, because they don't want anybody that is going to be like, no, no, you're too smart. They want the greedy ones, the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. If we have the good ones, they will come and kill them too good. It is sad. But enough is enough. <laughs> oh, they're messing with the wrong generation. A new wave is coming. It's going to spread all over. It's going to spread all over. Africa is going to stand. It is our land. Our ancestral land. You can't come and terrorize us, and kill us, and victimize us, and enslave us on our own land. Now, enough is enough. A day is coming when enough is indeed enough. And it's going to be a rude awakening. Because you can't go... The oh my god, I had to go on Google. Um, search for Nigerian uranium. You need to see the degradation. You need to see the 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 mess, the destruction of the landscape of the land of that Nigerian land. They're not gonna recover fifty, thirty years from now. They dare not even do that in France. Chevron that is doing the oil in Nigeria, you need to go there. The contamination, the, the water is gone, the land is gone, the whole spill, and they left it there. They left it there. This is called, this is people's home, their land, their ancestral land. And you go because of your greediness, you're spoiling it. Where do you not want them to live? Where do you want them to live? The destruction, the destruction caused by all this because they are mining the resources whichever way, anyhow, is immeasurable 
the destruction to land, to lives, to the ecosystem, to, I mean, they're just destroying the land because there's no checks and balances. There are no policies. There's nothing in place, so they're just doing anyhow. They're just doing anyhow. And they are the ones that introduced all these so-called terrorists so that they can force the people off the land and take the resources. It is sad. It is sad. Do all to others what you want them to do to you. Now, and how can you people, all these so-called world power, G7 or whatever they are, how can you people sleep? Children are going into children are going into mines just to get the resources for you. Children that are supposed to be in school. You have policies. Your own children from infancy to six years. You have education, you have policies for them to go to primary school, to go to secondary school. You everything is facilitated. And yet there are children in Africa, instead of them, your their childhood is being stolen away from them. How can you live with that? These so-called resources, you take it at little or no price. Turn it to finished product and sell it back at seven times the price. Whatever money Africa is making, you take it from them. You're saying you, you're keeping it for them as reserve. Not, not all of you have gold, yet your money is backed by Africa's gold. You're so cheeky. You will take that same money, give them little, and put a high interest on it. Their own money. Why can't Africa bring their own money? Why do they have to have why do they have to have reserves with you? Why do they have to have foreign reserves with you? My currency is Naira, but everything else is done in dollars. The government is paying the senators, the president, they are paying themselves in dollars. They are not paying themselves in naira because IMF came and told them to devalue the naira so that you guys can feel good about yourself. How do you sleep with that? You are destroying all the people. Empathy at our way, you are just putting him at that. And tell you, you know, if you put him, oh, God, and that much, you know. Oh God, thank you. Oh my God, you know. I need to better to 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 wo to wo di ani. Ah, wo ma wo di ti ti ano. Wo ma wo di ti ti ano. Kilo de. Eh, wa le wa wa suri le wa ma farani wa. Tabatu rakala wa sa doni. Eh, tu ma wo eh tu ma ni 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 che ti katebi. Eh, you know then ye. Eh, you la band ye. Eh, you ni kokuro to unje ba indi ba lo wa kilo de. E mu wè re wà jè re wà tè e tu fi hò wè ni ki la ma xè. Lori ilè papà, ilè a la lè wà. Ilè ori rò a la lè wà, ilè a mò papà la wà. E yè a tòn ri wà. Ta a gba yin tò wà tè sè tè wà dè tè wà dè gwen jà. A a. O tò gè, a lò bà tà kò yè dà rè. Un un. E kò kò ni gbò mi kò gbè yè kò gbà xè xè. Un un. Of what it was, it begged you by Unicaru Kuma Kako and Danini. Eh, Bobba won't lay lay. Don't want she luck of what it are by ye. Oh, me, your mouth, Bobbo ye, Lonnie. Bobba, one number day, no little she luck of what it are by ye. And one lale won't want my baba cobble boy ye, Lon. Ah, ni burro ye, ma. He get rather la racky wolly. Na she do mari. Kilo de gono. E tu mwa wa du koko mwa alo ri le wa. E wa mu wè kenyi wa se ra wa. A mwa, a mwa la de se. A mwa mwa mbi li ki wwa bi a mwa o jyo mwa mwa li o nyo. A mwa ba rada rada. Tu je po bukbe ni ti o tolo ye e ma wè e ma wa fi mwa so ye. A mwa bo yi bo yi. I want more, Russia. To one of one is here, little more fit on my day. Move ready, let it do gulle. Meanwhile, illuny. 
Why? Why does Africa have to be the, 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 the experiment ground? Why can't why 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 does Africa have to be the experiment ground? All the weapons that they can't use on themselves because they have policies, they have one law or another. There's no law in Africa, so they're gonna come come and use all the weapons. Dummy the the aftermath of it, the side effects of it. They're gonna blow more cells in Africa. They're gonna bomb people, they're gonna do all kinds of weapons of biological weapons of mass destruction. They're gonna come. It's a shenishi roman to see. A bit it a war nuclear kiniko kiniko te she kaki dishi roman shet et tiriko be. Hm? A shafe run Africa ground. A barangu yin gara gara. Ongu yin gara gara. Ene ya waju te bu. Ya waju te bu. Ya waju te turi fukini. Oh, because uh, uh, the so-called leaders, the so-called puppets that you have, that they are greedy. They don't care. They are. They, they have their. They are spending their last minute, so they don't really care because they know they're gonna die soon. So they want everybody to follow. They don't want to die alone. And it's not even that they don't want to die. They're kind, they're kind of like, well, they can't be bothered. After all, they've enjoyed the best of their lives. And so they don't care in as much as they lived a good life. And they die in a good way. They die in the money. They, can't, they don't want to know what happens after they're gone. They don't want to know. Selfish lots. But the time is coming, Sha. Hmm. One day, Bush hmm. hmm. meat will catch the hunter. So, time rests only one day, Bush meat will catch the hunter. One day, Bush meat will catch the hunter. One day, Bush meat will catch the hunter. Catch the hunter. Catch the hunter now. Bush meat. You go catch the hunter now. Wait. Yeah. Uh -uh. Mm. He go be like female. Then he go choke them. Mm. Mm. All I know is they are messing with the wrong generation. They are messing with the wrong generation. <laughs> They're messing with the wrong generation, so they should just do it. Tread with caution. They should tread with caution. We are resourceful people. We are resilient. Mm. The dry bones shall rise again. Nipa titi apatite ni South Africa. Kwa shi mpa mwoto ben on DDC. Awo kuna mba mwote de di dry bones shi arise again. So, wwa wazi wapa, wapa tataya. Tupa jikuwa fe maapa ni wwa mwa pato mataya. Nkote mwoto nipa ti dry bones shi arise again. Enough is indeed enough. So, guys. I'm watching in GDD. As it unfolds. We'll talk about it. But it is sad. It is sad, Africans. The way Africans are being treated. As if we don't have competent, able bodied people. Y youths. I mean, youths. With, with, I mean, that can express themselves, you know? I was really impressed with that 34 year old um, um, soldier man. You know, we need more like that. He was asking questions. They need to ask questions. And they have to answer. They have to. But all those old men, they're just good. They heard that they were snoring. They just went for sizing and come back. Nothing. And when they're going, they give them packages. That is all. They do paparazzi. They do photo work. And they show the, that. It's more than that. They're deliberately doing that. So, 
Look at Omodumeloni Macron. He's giving his best years. And when he got oh, worn out tires in it, he made a lot of sala. He made a lot of yida sonu. He put falling down. Eh? Just imagine. And um, it's all good. Um, that's what uh, my, um, Reno Mokwe, that's what he said. And all the other participants as well. Everybody was expressing their own opinion. Even my donor concept expressions. So me likewise to express my own. So yeah. Because at the end of the day, after all the bombing and whatever, whatever, they're still gonna come to round table. They will still shake hands, so they will still take pictures together. So I don't know. I don't know. Don't let them kill you for nothing. Don't let them kill you for nothing. So, hmm. Hmm. thanks for listening to me. Until I come your way again. Bye.